Hi, everybody. It is November 30, 2017. I get very good information from subscribers, and I want to pass it along. I can't post so many videos, which I'd love to, but uh, I'm afraid of getting copyright strikes. And hitting like, um, I think a lot of people don't go to the channel page. I think a lot of people get their videos from their YouTube feed. Unfortunate because YouTube ain't posting a lot of the videos on everybody's feed uh, that they're subscribed to, but uh, I guess this is the easiest way to get the information out. So thank you all for passing along this information. Very important. This video, there is no benefit to cancer screening. And I'm going to play just a few seconds of this video. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Uh, it is on Dr. Joel Wallach's um, channel, but it's also on iHealthTube, their channel, which if you're not subscribed, I suggest subscribing to because they do uh, present an awful lot of very good information. But listen to just a few seconds. And cancer is nothing else than a total breakdown of energy. We are all born with cancer. From the very first moment we are born, we have cancerous potentials, potential cancerous cells in our body. So from day one, our immune system grabs the, the mutated, artifact, dead, half-dead cells, whatever they are, and just gets rid of it. So now we need to ask ourselves 20, 30, 40 years later, what in the world happened? that changed my energy level to a point that my immune system cannot do its normal function, that it's used to do, keeping me alive, keeping me clean, keeping me healthy for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Good question. Okay, well, we also know that an awful lot of poisons have entered our environment. We've got the microwave frequencies that break down our immune system. We've got the aerosol spraying, chemicals, heavy metals, that also break down our immune system. So it's very, very, very important that everybody do whatever it is that they can to keep their immune system strong. Now, that's not going to necessarily mean you're going to feel good. No, I actually have, I believe, a pretty good uh, immune system. It's these friggin' frequencies that very often make me feel like hell. But what do I do? Well, I do take vitamin D3. I, um, I've been detoxing and all that kind of stuff. But I think the main thing that got my immune system back, it being destroyed by medications put on the market as safe, by eating garlic. Yeah, uh... I happen to love garlic. I know that some people are allergic to garlic, which is really unfortunate, but garlic is one of the best things that you can do to boost your immune system. And I will literally eat it raw, you know, a little um, clove uh, or a big one and I'll split it in half and I will eat it raw. And sometimes I have to eat it with like walnuts or something just to... Uh, well, uh, help along with the burning sensation that it actually gives me. And now it used to not give me that burning sensation. I think the burning sensation that's happening now is because I have so, so many uh, toxins that the garlic is kind of attacking. I could be wrong on that, but that's my hunch. Um, so garlic, yeah, uh, you might hate it while eating it, but it will keep your immune system up there strong to fight against all of these diseases. But I will, <laughs> this is great. This is why we are losing the war on cancer. So Dr. Coldwell, this is on, well, Joel Wallach's channel, um, but it is uh, Eye Health Tube's channel. And he is talking about why. Why are we losing the war on cancer? 
Why? How could it be that 1, 1 in 2 will get cancer? 1 in 2? When I grew up, when I was a little kid, people used to whisper the word cancer. They whispered it because it was so rare and I guess they just didn't want anybody to know that somebody had it. So Dr. Caldwell in this interview, he talks about how in the 1900s, 7% came down with cancer. Now it's 56%. I think he said 56. 56 or, yeah, 56. Um, all right, well, what does he attribute that to? All of the poisons that are sprayed upon our foods, and he even says chemtrails. Thank you for sending this video along to me. Vitamin D deficiency, uh, it's an epidemic. I had videos, not just one, but several, on Kafka Winston World. The vitamin D deficiency, and one of the videos, I can't find it now. I wish somebody had reposted it, but it was many doctors talking about children, uh, their patients, most of them had a vitamin D deficiency. Why? Well, they're blocking the sun from the geoengineering. That's certainly one reason. But vitamin D is really, really important. Very important. So uh, I had a vitamin D deficiency in 2011. Uh, I believe it was 11. My doctor wanted to write a prescription for 50,000, um, is it milligrams? I, I can't even remember. I would not take the prescription. I said, I will do it. I don't want synthetic vitamin D deficient, uh, vitamin D, because <laughs> they have chemicals in the prescriptive vitamin D that are not good for you. So don't, don't take the prescription. I got a really good vitamin D3, and I was able to bring my vitamin D3 back up, or vitamin D back up. But I did come across, and I need to check this out, if any of you know why it is that it's dangerous to take vitamin D3 without vitamin K. I didn't take vitamin K. I'm still here. Um... I guess you have to watch these videos to learn why vitamin K is essential to take with vitamin D because it's not just one person saying it. Okay, um, that you can uh, do research on. But vitamin D, it is so important. Vitamin D is better than any vaccine and increases the immune system by three to five times. So garlic, vitamin D, three. Um, very important. I'll link below to all of these videos as well as a video that was sent along to me yesterday and I watched it but oh infuriating the problems with YouTube. The first time that I tried to watch it no audio. I couldn't get audio on this video and then suddenly the audio started like an hour later when I went back to check. CDC and vaccine company lies exposed. Flu shots kill, MMR kills, they hide the data. So thank you for um, posting this video. Very, very important. Um, and I'm going to be doing more of these videos just to get the information out there. So please circulate the information. All links are below.